Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a little bit different just so if you want to tune out, that's fine. This is going to be a more personal video. So if you don't give a fuck about all of that, go ahead and leave. And that's not backhanded, though it really did sound passive aggressive, but it's really genuinely just go. I want to talk about some real life shit that I have not been talking about specifically because, well, first of all, I don't like crying on camera. And so I did my makeup, therefore I cannot, or I will be mad at myself, but there are some things that I want to discuss, and this might be probably maybe the most important video on my channel ever, me not putting pressure on myself. Because I know that, you know, the majority of people come here and I'm not trying to project anything onto you, but you come here to hear the stories, what's going on, whatever. Part of that though is how I tell the stories or how I discuss things, which is very dependent on who I am at that moment in time. In this moment in time, I... Um, man, it's not even been two minutes, girl. At this moment in time, uh, you know, like if you have any idea of the goings on in my life, heartbreak, grief, loss, what do you do when you're fucking 29 and your partner dies and that's the only person you've ever been with and were with for 10 years? I kind of wanted to talk about all that and I want to talk about what's been going on in the past few months that I haven't said to anyone. I have been doing my best to remain on this planet as, you know, as a functioning human being, not just, you know, dissociating all the time, which is what I did for a couple of months uh, right after it all happened. And um, I started my PhD program uh, with a scholarship, which is low key insane because I was dissociated when I applied. Um, so God knows what I wrote in my little essay, but slay, I guess. I am going to therapy. Don't worry. There are things that I'm not okay with that I'm going to talk about now because I, as much as I'm like sad and depressed and whatever the fuck I always am, aside from, you know, the loss of the love of my life, I'm pissed off. <laughs> and that's why I'm here because I am pissed the fuck off. So, let me tell you a little story. Back in November, now November is Jacob's birthday month, so I was already in a weird headspace. Um, and this was right after he passed in August, so it hadn't been very long. I was not in a good place, as you can imagine, and someone decided to dox me. This was the first time I'd been alone in this house that Jacob and I bought together. That was the first time I was alone here. So I already was having some weird shit, like I'm sleeping in my own guest room, I don't go into my bedroom, Room. I don't go into his office. Like there are more rooms I don't go into than the ones I go into. So like the haunted mansion, bitch, the fuck, like come over here. Don't worry, I'm moving. I was here and this person doxed me. Like, but the weird thing is that it was a silent threat. It wasn't like, hey, let me just post your shit online. It was like, I'm going to DM you your address and not say anything else. Imagine me <laughs> in the middle of, well, in the middle, at some point of my grief journey or whatever the fuck the TikTok girlies would probably call it. Imagine me at home alone for the first time and someone is basically telling me, hey, I know where you live. Now, the other thing is also that at that point, some of my, uh, in-laws had taken my guns, um, mainly because I was away for so long. So obviously, even though I do have a safe, uh, part of it, I wonder is if they were worried I was gonna, you know. My guns were not here. I was home alone. <laughs> I'm not particularly tight with any of my neighbors and one of my neighbors low key, I think tried to recruit my mom into a cult. We'll get into that at some other point. So like, there's no one here that's gonna take a bullet for me. Let me be clear, um, like within the radius of like my street. So imagine you're grieving, you are fighting the very destructive urges you probably have. And then someone's like, I know where you live. The first week you're alone in like four months. 
I really do not like playing the victim, uh, mainly because victimhood is not a role you play if you're a victim of something you are. I don't believe in throwing that upon yourself like it's a costume. And I surely don't wanna be the victim because trust and believe I will fuck you up, no problem. But at that very point, if you who doxed me, who DM'd me, if you were watching this, I want you to think about this real quick. Real quick, just think about this. You have someone who has attempted suicide, who has attempted overdose, and even if these things weren't true, what I'm about to say is still true, so listen up, motherfucker. You are messaging someone to put them in a state of alert and alarm, and for what? For what? If you wanted to show up to my house, you would have. And if you wanted to do anything to me, you would have. But bitch, I promise you, it's not gonna be easy. <laughs> like trust and believe as someone who has been taking kickboxing in a class called street fighting since I was 14, I am not the fucking one. I am not. But I do want you to think about the emotional shit you put me through of I was grieving, I am grieving. I was grieving at that point. I felt like I had no importance in life and I felt like if I fucking died at that point, I'd be doing people a favor. Because now a lot of the people who see me are like, oh yeah, that's, you know, that poor bitch, like she went through, like I am associated with death. I am death walking and you felt like, you know what? This is the person I want to make uncomfortable in their own home. The home I bought with my husband, you, you decided that that was appropriate. If you're okay with that, we're good. It sounds deranged. It sounds unhinged. Go find a therapist. Like I have one. Maybe I can send you a reference. If you threaten me again, I'll just DM you it back. If you did want to pull up, you know where I live, obviously. Go ahead. I dare you. All my neighbors are conservative gun owning people. So try it, try it, try it. You are going to be bullet wounds the house. Um, but the rest of this video, apart from like my raging or whatever, I kind of, I guess, wanted to mention the fact that I'm going to be kind of a different person. Um, and that might be uncomfortable and some people might unsubscribe, whatever, you know, I'm like, whatever you deem fit. Since I started this channel, Jacob was in my life and Jacob was basically already my husband, I'm pretty sure when I started this channel. I'm in this whole state of, you know, re-getting to know myself, which is so, so low-key cringe because, you know, like I'm 29, I should know who I am. But when you meet the love of your life and you're 19, Like, what are you gonna do? Like that, that's, gonna, that's gonna form you in some, in some way. And um, I'm not sorry for a minute of that, to be very clear. But I may be different from now on. And that's not just because of the trauma, which I think accounts for a lot because my personality has definitely, uh, I don't wanna say shifted, maybe evolved if we're gonna be optimistic. It's evolved. Once you go through what you know I did or many others did, it's it's hard to pretend you didn't and I'm not gonna pretend. And that's why I'm saying I'm gonna be different because I'm not invested in pretending that that didn't happen. I'm gonna synthesize this cause I'm already going off on a tangent. But the basic gist is you do not sit next to the love of your life who's in a hospital bed and you do not listen to doctors saying that they need to pull the plug and come back the same. You do not. Ooh, anyway, um, so, uh, you know, if, if you see me differently, if I am different, that's okay, I get it. Um, not particularly a fan of this version of me because this version of me uh, crying on camera, ruining my makeup despite what I said, God. <laughs> I pay way too much for this makeup to be crying it off, but that's why. I've seen some speculations here and there, people not really seen as much as people have sent them to me because I opt to not look at things online. This is an explanation for all of that. And I felt kind of fake not saying anything earlier as well, but I feel like earlier, it wasn't just that I didn't have anything to say as much as it's like, I didn't feel like I was enough 
in the progression of everything to say anything. Does that make sense? So it's like, I don't want to tell you, Hey, I'm at like step one of a process of 57 steps. And you know, it seems useless. I was way more vulnerable than I wanted to be. And I'm already, uh, kind of wondering whether I should even post this <laughs> girl, but yeah, I, uh, I hope that this all made sense to you guys, how I explained things. And, um, just to be clear, there are some people who keep asking me about how Jacob passed. I'm not going to talk about that. I'm never going to talk about that. So don't. Do not ask, do not DM me because from now on, let this video be like the moment where I will start being mean. Until now, I have shown a level of grace. <laughs> I will start being mean. I will hurt your fucking feelings. Do not. I wanted to give you guys the update and um, I'm not gonna talk about this again, but I would wanna talk about it once. So it's on record and it can be referred to. Uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video. In the next video, I'll be back to normal, not like this crying mess. Do not worry, but uh, whoever watched all the way through, I appreciate you and thank you.